Hello, my name is Ellie, and today I'm going to show you an experiment that demonstrates capillary action. Capillary action is the movement of water through the spaces or pores of a material, and it's how flowers like this tulip can drink water um, through their stems, they use capillary action. Um, and capillary action relies on two forces in particular, cohesion and adhesion. Um, cohesion is the attraction of water molecules to each other. So the water molecules like to stick together. And adhesion is the attraction of water molecules to a surface, such as this paper towel. And so the water molecules want to stick to the paper towel. And with these forces, water can defy gravity in a sense. And we're going to demonstrate that with this experiment. So for this experiment, you're going to need three cups, although you can change this number to have more or even just two, um, and two of which I filled with water, and one you're going to leave empty. You're also going to need some food coloring, um, though it's totally fine if you don't have any, you can just do it with water. And you're going to need one paper towel and a spoon to mix in the food coloring. So the first step is to tear the paper towel in half. And you can also try this experiment with different kinds of liquids. You could try it with oil or orange juice or whatever liquid you want to test it out with and see if it works the same way. And with your half sheet of paper towel, you're going to fold it into a long, thin strip. So it should look like this. And then you're gonna fold this in half and make a V shape. And you'll repeat that process with the second paper towel. So just folding it over itself and then into a V. And it doesn't need to be that precise, you just want to get the general shape of this. And then you're going to line up your cups. So you're going to have a cup with water and then a little bit apart the empty cup and then the other cup of water. And I'm going to add some food coloring to mine. Um, and you can mix and match the colors. So I'm going to do red and blue and we're going to see what, what happens when these colors mix. I'm going to add some blue food coloring and then some red. And I'm going to mix that in. Now, I'm going to place one of the paper towels and I'm going to make a bridge between this cup of the red food coloring and our empty cup. I'm gonna do the same with the blue. And then we're gonna let this sit like this for at least an hour um, or as long as possible. And I've actually left one overnight. So here's the same setup that I left overnight. And you can see that the water went over the paper towel and down into this cup. And you can see we have quite a lot of water now in this cup that was empty and the water is now purple. So if we mix the blue and the red, we get our purple. And this is an example of capillary action with just a few cups, a couple pieces of paper towel, and this is our outcome. So I hope you'll try this experiment at home. Um, do any variation you want. It's lots of fun to see what results you'll get. Thank you for watching.